Thanks. Um, I just got here early morning, so I haven't really seen much just yet, but I'm really looking forward to being in Toronto. Um, it's where I was born and I haven't been back since, so I can't wait to kind of go back and revisit the places um, that I have photos in front of or some memories that my, that my parents, you know, can, can tell me. Yeah. Okay, who would like to start today? Yeah, I mean it's a really big and nice stadium. The court is pretty quick. It's quite a bit faster than um, last week in Washington, and yeah, it does fly a bit, but um, yeah, really nice court. Um, Layla yesterday talked about you know going through the rankings up with yourself and Yiga Coco and kind of find inspiration seeing you guys have success. Um, do you kind of feel a similar way, like seeing each other have success? Of course you want to you know, beat them when you're playing against them, but do you kind of find inspiration seeing them do well? Yeah, I think it's good to see so many of the younger players doing so well, and, and there are so many that are up there in the rankings right now, and I think it's really good motivation for each other. You know, you, you see them do well, and you want to do well, and then it kind of pushes you, and. Um, it's it's really good to have that sort of competitiveness, and I think we had it, you know, throughout the juniors, and and it's been nice to kind of go on that journey with them from the juniors up to the pros. So uh, yeah, it's it's good inspiration. Hi, I'm Gad, uh, Toronto Observer. I wanted to ask you about uh, you doing a trial trial period with your new coach to make the tour of snow, and you mentioned he's not here because of the prior commitment. Will he be joining you in the uh, Cincinnati and the US Open? And how has that trial period been going? Yeah, I mean, we had like two, three weeks before, and including DC, so we'll probably just discuss and then see what happens. Um, but yeah, we, we need to just discuss first how it went from both sides. Okay. Emma, uh, welcome back to Toronto. Um, just on uh, DC, obviously a very physical week and uh, some tough wins there. How are you feeling? What, what did you take out of that tournament as you start the hard courts? I mean, it was a positive week for me to, to get three singles matches um, on the court. I, you know, have been pretty light on matches, so every match is sort of a win for me, and uh, it, I thought it was a really positive week, week to build on because um, I get to, you know, build, and, and it's just nice to see some progress of, like, the two weeks of training that I did before that um, and, and to get some reward for that. Um, it was pretty good, and, and I yeah I can't wait to carry on on this hard course way. Hi Emma, Jessica Lavinsky, Journal de Montréal. Um, as you may know, the Williams sisters are here this week. Um, did you grow up watching them? Did they inspired you in your career? And if so, how? Yeah, I mean it's amazing to see them around and just around the locker room and stuff. Like we're a few, I'm a few lockers away from Serena, so it's pretty cool. Um, but it's it's amazing to you know be in the same sort of draw with them when when you've seen them watching watching on TV or watching live growing up, um, and I think what they've done and, and how long they've been playing for at such a high level and now just keep pushing, keep coming back. Like they don't need to play tennis, but they just love it, and I just love that their desire for the game. So I think it's really inspiring to see them around. Hi, Diane Sauvé from uh, CBC Montreal. You've had uh, your share of critics on the social network and social media for you know all sorts of stuff. How do you deal with this? Well, I mean, they're just whatever you do that you're gonna get criticism. Like it doesn't really matter. You do something good, like you'll get criticism. You, you maybe don't, and. I mean, people are going to find a way to say something regardless, so I think that's something that I've just realised and um, I don't spend a lot of time looking at it because um, I just don't think there's any real need to and just in case, like, you see a bad one and there's so many great supporters and great fans out there and uh, you might see one that's slightly, you know, unfavourable and, and that will be the one that sticks in your head, but also there are well, millions of people who are like back behind you, backing you, and uh, I think that's really important to just keep in mind. Hi, uh, 
you mentioned off the top that this is your first time back in Toronto since being born. I'm just curious what you're most excited about the city and any places that you have in mind about visiting. Yeah, I mean, I was born like North York Hospital, so yeah. I was actually. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go there. Um, <laughs> and it's funny, like I was like born, and and the and the doctor, it was his birthday that day as well. And there was this like, because I was born on the thirteenth. Um, <laughs> I think my dad at the time was trying to either delay it one day or not because they thought like thirteen was unlucky, and the doctor was like, no, thirteen's not unlucky, and then. <laughs> And then they they found out it was his birthday, so and he did pretty well for himself. So uh, they were like, okay, it's fine. <laughs> so probably just around there, and also um, I used to live downtown, actually pretty near the hotel. Um, and yeah, I'll just go check it out. And I have some like baby pics, but I don't really remember anything. Uh, yeah, I don't got to observe again. Um, you recently played doubles. Is this something you're looking to explore more, or was this a one-off thing you wanted to give it a shot? Yeah, it was actually fun for me to play doubles. I've never played before, and I think the first four games, like me and Clara were definitely two singles players, and uh, we were playing a really good doubles team. And um, yeah, the first four games, I think you could tell we didn't really know where to hit the ball, but we kind of worked our way back into the match and almost had some chances. And um, we'll see. Like I might play doubles. I think. It was good for me to just get some time on the match court regardless, you know, it's still it's still a pressure situation, say you're at juice or some at juice you don't want to mess up. Um, so I think that it could be something I explore. Last few questions to the back. Um, sorry. Um, you've had success at, at a very young age. It's been a year since the US Open. How has it been when you reflect about it? How is it to be successful at such a young age? Yeah, I mean, I, you don't always realize, like, it's pretty easy to forget um, because I think for me, like, my parents have always been pretty um, just on me and involved, so they they don't really, like, nothing's changed. They'll tell me off for the same things, like, they're, they're just as um, involved in, like, certain decisions because, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm a 19-year-old, but... To have success at a young age, obviously you have to be really grateful because I'm, you know, I, I'm doing what I love, one, but also I've, you know, reached success way earlier than I ever really would have thought I did. So I'm pretty, you know, proud of myself in that way. But it has been a tough year. Like I've definitely gone through and experienced a lot of challenges. Um, that I think, to be fair, I've learned a lot from all of it and. Uh, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be, I think it's going to be nice once the US Open is finished and um, yeah, carry on from there, start again. And why do you say it's going to be nice when it's over? Um, I just think that it, it will be nice to just have a, like take all of the lessons from the last year and just a clean slate. Last question. Um, you got talked about yesterday that same group of players like yourself, Coco, Layla, like she could see this start in the beginning of a rivalry. Is, is that something that's kind of kind of cool and exciting to know that maybe this group of you guys can maybe usher in a new era of tennis? Yeah, it's, it is cool because I think that we're going to be playing for a, a long time, you know. You see like the the top players in, in the women's and at the end of the day, like, they, they've been such massive, prominent figures in women's tennis for so long, like Serena and everyone, and um, it, like going through for the next 10, 15 years, like it's probably gonna be, you know, our group, hopefully. So um, I think it is gonna be, I think it's gonna be good for everyone to see women's tennis, like see us now when we're kind of doing well um, at a young age, and then see how we progress against each other, like in five years and 10 years, and to continue.